Russia says it stopped a large-scale attack from Ukraine, but it's still not clear if it was the start of Ukraine's latest counteroffensive. The Russian Ministry of Defense posted a video to its Telegram channel claiming it stopped Ukrainian advances along five sectors of the front lines in Donetsk. The Russian MOD said Ukraine sent six mechanized and two tank battalions into the fight. Russia's MOD claimed it destroyed 16 tanks and killed more than 250 Ukrainian soldiers. But as is the norm with Russia's Ministry of Defense, all facts and figures given should be taken with a healthy grain of salt. The images were geolocated to the Donetsk region, but just when the images were taken could not be independently verified. Russian military bloggers reported heavy fighting in the region, but Ukraine's armed forces said they did not have any information on the alleged attack and would not comment, quote, on any kind of fake. In April, Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Mollier said Ukraine would never preemptively announce the start of its counteroffensive for obvious security reasons, but she did say in some regards, the counteroffensive had already begun. Ukraine has been targeting strategic Russian logistics locations like ammo depots and fuel refineries in the last few weeks. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in May that he was delaying the counteroffensive until more Western weapons and ammunition could make it to Ukraine. This past Saturday, Zelensky told the Wall Street Journal his country is now ready to launch its counteroffensive, but Ukraine's leadership still isn't going to say when. On Sunday, Ukraine's defense minister posted a video of soldiers holding a finger to their lips and the words, there will be no announcement about the start, an obvious acknowledgement of the upcoming counteroffensive. Aside from all the additional Western weapons and supplies sent to Ukraine in just the last few weeks, the weather is also finally starting to cooperate. Ukraine is in the midst of a dry spell, which means the ground is not so muddy and heavy equipment can now move much easier. We have plenty more reporting on the much-anticipated Ukrainian counteroffensive. For those unbiased straight facts, head over to straightarrownews.com. Thanks for watching. We know that Americans' trust in media is near an all-time low. That is why Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. To make sure that you get the journalism that you trust, like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to catch all of our content, go to our website, straightarrownews.com.